Hey everybody, it's Blue Toto. Welcome back to Mario Kart Wii. It's been about 10 months, I think, maybe, oh, maybe a little bit less than that, 9 months at least, since I last played this. So, let's talk about this for a second. Second, um, I'm probably not going to continue time trials, at least not now, but I wanted to come back to this game because I wanted to do the battle mode for this game because that's probably one of the highlights of this game, so I wanted to have a go at it. So let's start off with Balloon Battle. I don't really know which character pick to pick, so I'm just going to pick Toad. I don't remember who I played as most of the time. Oh, I guess it was Funky Kong way back when I last played this. But anyway, let's go to Manual. I can probably play Manual now. <laughs> that seems like a bad idea to do after 10 months. But anyway, we have Wii Stages and we have Retro Stages from previous Mario Kart games. So let's probably start off with the Wii stages just to see what's there. Starting off with Block Plaza. So the way that balloon battles work, since I haven't actually explained this before on my channel, but it's probably something you should know already, is everyone has three balloons and by using the items you pop an opponent's balloon. So We'll see how this goes. Also, that's a really bad start, obviously. Luckily for battle mode, you're also in teams. So you also don't have to worry too much about uh, dying, I guess. The balloons are basically people's lives. And if I can, I believe... Oh, that's not good. Wow, I'll actually lose your item from getting hit. That's actually really terrible for a battle balloon battle. Um, but... Your balloons are basically your health, so you need to be very careful with that. Oh, I remember this is actually... This. Also... Oh, bad, bad, bad. If I can hit an enemy... Not as soon as they get... I'm so mad right now. <laughs> I'm so mad right now. If I can hit an enemy with a mushroom, I can actually steal... I can actually steal their balloon for extra health. Also, if I haven't... If you didn't know, <laughs> the balloon battle on with Mario Kart Wii is a little bit... A little bit rough. Just, let's say that. This level also... Just while I'm explaining things. Uh, this level... Oh my goodness, can I actually get an item? A lot of these are fake blocks. Uh, the, if your team color... If it's a block of your team color, then you don't have to worry about running into it, but it will take it away, which is not good for your team. And same with um, other items. You can have a... There's a little glow around your items that shows you whose team it belongs to, so you know how your team's going. Oh, don't hit me, please. Please. Oh, Mario, please hit the... No. I'm doing so bad right now. It says 6 to 12, and that's not a good number for everything to be. Oh. I almost got them. Oh, 6 to 13. We are not doing great at all. We have a minute left, because these are timed as matches as well, which means we don't have to worry about losing all of our balloons, because there have been Mario Kart games where if you lose all your balloons, you also just, you're out, basically. You have to just watch, pretty much. Uh, but I was trying to talk about this level earlier. Uh, this particular map will... Oh, oh, we could actually bring this back. Uh, there's the, all the statues around, and they will drop living holes to fall into after a while. And that's the interesting thing about, um, I think pretty much all of the Wii, or a fair bit of the Wii tracks, courses for battle mode, is that they will have special events that happen after a certain amount of time. I'm going to mess this up for my team. If we lose by one point, that was my fault. For sure. Although, oh, oh. Oh, oh, don't, nobody take hits. Yes, we won. Oh my goodness. I'm surprised I won that just because of how much we were getting smashed, but I guess my teammates were doing really good. Oh my goodness, King Boo had five points. But anyway, when it comes to battle modes, we also have to get a certain number of wins before we actually win. So it's first to two in this at the moment, so let's see how this goes. Let's go to Delfino Pier.
If we win this round, we win. If they win this round, then they have the chance of winning the next round and then winning overall. I remember this one, this particular level being my favorite, just because of the mechanic that happens in it. I mean, it's not really good, but it's, it's interesting for what it is. Okay, we're not doing good so far, but after a while, some new areas will open up, oh my goodness, in this, in this map, and, um, we'll also lose, uh, lose some of the other areas that we are currently in. Oh, please, nope. Not doing great at all right now. The water's rising. And we can't go into the water, otherwise we will be bad. We'll, it'll be bad for us if we go in the water. But the water is slowly rising, which means we're going to need somewhere else to go when the water gets too high. And that's basically the gimmick of this level. Hopefully that's going to get some people. I think just dropping traps around the place is probably a good strategy for this. Just using up your items straight away. Oh my goodness, really? I'm dead. And I'm pretty sure that means I lose my, my, my shells as well. Which is unfortunate. And we're definitely running out of space now because of the water rising. It's still not rising extremely fast, but we're going to need somewhere to go in a minute here. The bell rings, and... I believe these gates open up, and the bridge to the upper level is opened. So now we can be in here for a little bit longer, but the water is still rising, so we can't stay down here for too long. But if we want to battle we down here, we can. Oh, I might want to actually get out of here before I have the water get too high. So let's do that. And we are getting absolutely smashed right now. We are not doing that well at all, but I'm going to blame myself for that, because I'm not really doing a whole bunch. If I can get onto a block... Hang on. Just gonna do this. Oh, don't move me. That's so rude. I feel like I'm gonna do better just staying on top of a block and just shooting things out all the time. Just gonna smash the throw button and see what happens. Oh, that's cool. But also, now I'm playing extremely well right now for some reason. Um, I also have to... Wow. I also have to hold down... Hold forward the, um, the... The control stick if I want to... Throw forward. Or in... Uh... Sideways controls would be... Um... What is it? Holding up the D-pad. I'm gonna just go with this. Yes. Oh, we're out of time. That's a shame. Oh, please, please, please. No, no. It's the last second. Nope. We lost. We still have one more round to try and see what happens. So that's that level. That's It's very interesting with the way that the water rises in, so you have the lower levels for a short-ish amount of time. And the under, underground bit underneath the top part doesn't last very long, so... But anyway, it's time for the best level. Like, it's just everyone... It's probably everyone's favorite battle level, probably. I don't know if I'm... The only one. But this is... This is Funky Stadium. Just look at it. It's so cool. So good. But anyway, this is the match... Ma 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 the, the match point. So we need to not... Mess this up now. We start off with... Uh, two other people in the areas that we spawn in. On the ramps. Uh, either it's... Uh, your teammate and... Um somebody from the other team, or it's, um, you're in the middle of two of the enemies. Two people, two people from the other team. Also, I'm definitely not used to this game, because I, re I remember that I need to actually shake for spinning, don't I? Yeah, I do. It's been so long since I last played Mario Kart Wii that I just don't remember how to, how the basic functions work, which is probably not good. Uh, but that's also fine. This mode is pretty good. But there is some other stuff that we will be doing shortly. That is even even more fun, basically. Okay, let me get some more items if I can. 
We have two points currently, but we're going to need a lot more than that to win. Oh, they just got another point. This is such a big area that you just don't see anyone that much. Or I'm just going the away from people a lot more. I don't know, either, either way. Let me throw that out there and see if that hits someone. Good. We have six points. We're, we're probably going to win this. Uh, but I'm expecting to lose a battle at some point. Okay. Still good. Just going to throw those. Hopefully they're going to hit something. Oh, bob -omb. Can I get somebody with this bob -omb? That is the question. Probably not. And I'm probably going to make things worse for my team. But I'm going to dodge that uh, big mushroom. M big mushroom. I don't actually know what that's called. Giant mushroom? I don't know. I'm not going to pretend to know. I just destroyed that banana. I'm pretty sure. That's not good, but we are 6 to 8. Oh, 6 to 9 points. That's pretty good for now. But we're going to need a little bit more than that to win. I keep taking out my own bananas. I probably shouldn't do that. Oh, I got a big mushroom. Can I get anyone? Probably not, because there's no one nearby. Anyway. Just going to hop over this to get this one. Usually the center is the good spot to get items from. So if you need to do that, that's the place to do it. 15 to 5. This is sad for the other team. Oh, poor baby Luigi. 5 to 17. I think we're going to win this. I don't know how I just missed my teammate, but it wouldn't even do anything to my teammate, so we're pretty good. 6 to 17 points. We won. Very nice. Oh, I got 11 points? Okay, I'm okay with this. I don't know how I did that. I guess I just threw enough things out in the middle of nowhere for it to work out. And even when we, um, when we win, we get a full team on the podium. One day I'll lose something. Don't have to worry about any cups or stars or anything. It's just straight battle mode, basically. So let's head back in to battle. And we're going to keep doing balloon battle just for a little bit longer. We'll get to coins. But first, I want to... I want to... I'm going to switch to automatic. Uh, also, you only get two kart choices, which is the basic Mario Kart or basic Mario Bike. So... But anyway, let's go to Chain Chomp Roulette. And this is also kind of a cool level. We start off on these ramps. So we have to go out, and then, in the middle, we can go up this way to get some power-ups, and this huge roulette has a, a, um, a chain chomp rolling around in it, I believe, that you need to dodge. You can hit it with a star power, obviously, like I just did. Ah, uh, but there's also some power-ups on the edge, and apparently I dashed through a red person because I have an extra balloon, which is pretty good. Oh, audio's cutting out because I think it's clipping. I probably should do something about that. Just gonna throw that over there. Hang on, I'm gonna turn turn down the volume so it doesn't clip and then make things difficult. Okay, we're not doing too well so far. My team is just not getting the points that I need. But as you can see, this this is a strategy where you can just go around the outside and get power-ups and dodge pretty much everything. But I'm assuming that there are some things that will still get me, and also my teammates aren't going to do this, so... I should probably head back into the middle, and that was a bad move, because there's the Chain Chomp. And now I'm squashed. Oh, don't hit the Chain Chomp again! Oh my goodness. Okay, this is a bad idea. I'm going to head out to the outside. Also, part of this ground is also rotating in the center. So you need to be careful of that. 
My team would have been winning right now if it wasn't for me. Probably should do a little bit better. I'll try to go around the edge like this a bit more. Why is my thing stopping? I don't know. Okay, just throw out another shell. Don't think it's going to break when it hits the outside at least. Oh, we are not doing good and there's a minute left. Okay. Oh, I can't get any power-ups right now. One, seven to one. This is not good. But then... Balloon battle is kind of brutal in this game, so I'm not really that surprised. If I hit something with that, that'd be great, you know. Can't even get any power-ups right now. I'm going to get hit by the Chain Chomp again. Ow! It's, it's, this is my fault that I'm that we're losing this so much. Star power. Oh, he, Boo is already gone. I can't hit anyone. I can't hit anyone. What is happening? Well, we have a chance of winning now. A chance, a slight chance. We just need to hit a few more people. And we might be able to bring it back in the last few seconds. Please, red shell hit something. Green shell hit something. Oh, we're in the winning. Oh, I nearly hit that block. No, 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 no. A last second change. Wow. That's unfortunate. Nobody even got that many points. I think when you get hit, you lose a point, and whenever you, um, whenever you hit somebody else, you, no, whenever you get hit, you lose a point. Whenever you hit something, you get, get a point. I think that's the way that works, maybe. But anyway, that did not go well, and if we lose this ne next match, we're gonna lose. Which will have the, a similar low, lo um, losing screen as the regular losing screen, which we never saw, because I didn't really do that bad. Anyway, let's go to Thwomp Desert. This one is fairly difficult, because if you go into the center, you the very center, you die in the hole. The Thwomp can save you sometimes, if it lands in the hole, because it will sometimes, it will, it will smash the ground and then, um, it'll make a lot of waves, I guess, like this. And the waves are good because you can actually use them for speed, I think. And also you don't fall in the hole while the thwomp's doing this thing, but also the power-ups are really difficult to get to, apparently. <gasps> oh, don't go in the hole. That, not that much. So it's kind of a risky thing going to the middle, but it's also got items there for you, so it's an interesting, it's an interesting level. Probably not the best, though. Probably not people's favorite. No, it's not, it's no Funky Stadium. Funky Stadium is just so good. But anyway, let's get hit by a shell and probably run out of balloons in a second here because I need, oh, I need a little bit more than this. Hang on, a bomb, please save me. It's also interesting because you can see some of the other thwomps that are in the sand when, oh my goodness, when the waves are going crazy, which is also pretty cool. Oh, Waluigi. Oh, Birdo. Let's go after Birdo. Oh, don't die. King Boo, yes. This is how it is. This is how we do it. No, not like that. Oh, this is bad. It's 11 to 8 right now. And more points get introduced if you don't die for a long time and keep hitting people. The same with the other team as well. Oh my goodness. Don't go in the hole. Oh my goodness. I'm all the way over here now and we can't even get to the power-ups. Please, 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 thank you. Oh my goodness, pain. T 15, 16 to 10. This is not going to work. We're going to actually lose this. We have a minute to bring it back. Otherwise, we're going to game over. Oh my goodness. Hit something, please. Oh, this, this is a crazy level. It's also really small compared to the rest of the levels. Oh my goodness, that was a good move. Hitting him with my body into the shell. Oh, 15 to 18. Oh, but Blue Shell, don't do it to me and don't hit any of my teammates. Oh, you did, though. 
Oh, 16, 17. I can't see. 15, 18. 30 seconds left. Oh, go team, go team, go team, go team, go team, please. Team, save me. Teammates, do it. Team, my teammates will win this for me. 17. No, 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 the game over screen at long last. I know that's why a lot of people clicked on the video, I guess. All these videos, so. It's time to finally see it. It's the most depressing thing ever, so here we go. It's so depressing. This, it's the same song as the wind theme, but sadder. And, but in single player, like the, the regular races, not team battles. Or team races. It's just you sitting there, and it's so sad. You didn't make it all the way. Oh my goodness. Anyway, let's head back into coin battle now. Because I believe we did all of the, the Wii levels. So... I guess now, let's go to the retro stages. Starting off with SNES Battle Course 4 from, uh, yeah, the SNES, Super Mario Kart. This one looks a lot bigger than the Thwomp one, which is good for us. And it's got a lot more walls in between things. So we should be able to do a little bit better on this. But let's see if that's tr as true as I th want it to be. Also, we're red now, so we need to keep that in mind. So, yeah. We have to hit blue and not red. We can basically just go around in circles and hopefully hit something, but also it's kind of unlikely. Unless we're specifically going for something. And red shells don't bounce. That's not good. I should probably actually chase after some enemies. Oh, and don't get hit by things. Okay, I saved my point. I balanced the score, but not but, yeah, it's not good. If I get hit and hit something, then it's evened out. But I'm hitting, trying to hit my own teammates again. <laughs> it's fine. I know how to play. Anyway, let's keep trying. I might see if I can hit King Boo. Not if he turns. I should have waited a little bit longer. Also, the opposite team's glow doesn't isn't visible. From from your perspective, so I have to keep that in mind a little bit. I can't see anyone. Oh, there's one. How did I miss? Oh, I nearly went into that block. That's not good. Gotta drop, drop bananas if I can. Oh, that's a red block. That's my block, basically. Just gonna see if dropping bananas all around the place is a good strategy, because it means they might drive into them. It's also cool how each section has its own um, color, I guess. Oh, funky. Oh, funky. Oh, funky. You messed up. Let's change lanes. Oh, and not get hit by things. I missed Waluigi. That's fine. Oh, and I took out somebody else's shell on our team. That's not good, but that's okay. I'll manage it. We're doing good. 13 to 8. We've still got a little bit of time left. There goes Waluigi. 
We're doing great right now. 15 to 7. So incredibly good. What? That red shell turned a whole 180 to get me. 14 to 10. This is not looking good anymore. I need to hold on. Just don't. Nobody get hit. Nobody get hit. Nobody get hit. Nobody get hit. Good. We won. That round, at least. Oh, yeah! All right! Okay, next up, Game Boy Advanced, Battle Course 3. Okay, let's see if we can win this round. If we win this round, we win we we win in real life. It's probably easier said than done, though. Just gonna start by throwing things around. I should probably avoid other players while I, when I don't have anything though. I have a red shell, so if I can turn around a little bit more, I can get baby Luigi. Use the map to your advantage, obviously. Oh, this is not a good place to be in, so I'm gonna get out of here. Okay, let's see if I can get Funky Kong from here. Nope, he turned out. And that's not gonna work, so let's be careful. Play our cards carefully. Get away, get away, get away, get away. That's blue. I like how the blocks in this game are kind of easy to spot if they're not the ones you need. And then also kind of... Um... Like, when you get up close to them, you can see that they're what they are, what color they are. But when you're a little bit further away, you can't really tell as exactly. Okay, we're doing alright. 8 to 5. Just need a little bit more. Funky Kong, get me! No. Funky Kong. Funky Kong. Oh, that's a bad idea. Let's get away from that. <laughs> he wanted to challenge me when I wanted to challenge him, and it was going to end really badly for me. I need to not turn that much early. If I can throw this red shell into the center though, that would be good because it has a high likelihood of hitting something. Especially if it turns completely 180 to hit Waluigi. Oh, another red shell. Hit somebody, thank you. Nice. Okay, let's keep driving around. You kind of want to drive around the edges for safety and then go into the middle to shoot things. Funky Kong's dropping in. That's a shame for him. Oh, never mind. He's completely fine. 15, 13. A minute left. Okay, this is a lot better than I, I realized because when I... Growing up playing this, I don't think I ever played the... The, um the balloon battle that much because I wasn't good, wasn't good at it and you get absolutely smashed sometimes. But, I, oh no, 16, 17, this is not good. I was about to say, this time we're smashing the other team, but nope, they're about to smash us a little bit. So let's build up our points a little bit more. Oh, nice red shell. Let's just go around this for a little bit so I can send this into the center. Very nice. And actually, I can just keep going around the same corner over and over. Okay, I can't do anything else. So hopefully this is going to be good enough. Waluigi, touch me. Touch me, Waluigi. Nope, but we got 22-19. Very nice. The red team wins. A complete full sweep. Very nice. So, let's go back in because there's still a few more levels to look at. And then we'll be done for now. And we'll look at, um, we'll look at, uh, Coin Battle next time. Coin Runners. I can't believe that's what it was called. 
before it was just called coin battle, I guess. Anyway, let's take the standard cart again, automatic. And let's go to Nintendo 64 Sky Skyscraper. This was one that I recognized very well from when I played Battle Mode a billion years ago on Mario Kart 64. These retro courses don't have any special events, I don't think. So it's just the, um... Oh my goodness, this song. Memories. Oh my goodness. Getting crushed. I don't know if I can actually make that jump. Nope. Turns out no. This is very Mario Kart 64 music. And I like it. I love these throwbacks to other... Mario Kart games. I like throwbacks in general. I think everybody loves throwbacks. Everybody loves a good throwback. But anyway, I don't know a good strategy for this other than just going around the edge and just shooting everything that's possible. Just leaving bananas everywhere. Dry Bowser, you just took two items. Also, nobody's done anything yet, I don't think. Should have timed this out better. Got Peach there. Score is tied up 3 to 3. Oh, I missed. How could I miss? Okay, who's coming up in front of me? Waluigi. Just a little bit further away. I think the AI can actually tell when you're about to do something though, which is unfortunate, because they seem to turn away just as you're about to get to them. They know. They just know for some reason. But anyway, let's see if we can get some more points, because we are currently 6 to 5, so they have a good chance of actually bringing it back right now. Oh, two red shells. Lovely. I just need to find some blue to shoot these at. There's Dry Bowser up ahead. If I can catch up, I just need to actually go around the edge faster than him. Okay. That's a little bit rude. Of course they only turn around as you're... as they're about to shoot you, and they turn... Ah, anyway. I'm not gonna get too triggered at the game. They just seem to know what they're about to do. They just seem to know where you are. And when you're about to hit them, and when they can actually hit you. Oh, bob -omb. I think that's actually our team's bob -omb. but anyway. Ow. Thanks for the warning game. I really appreciate that. Also, on the bottom left of the screen, you can actually see how many points you have from hitting other people. Ah! Bowser, get over here. Nope, he's turning away. Of course he is. But anyway, we have 12 to 9, so I think we've got this in the bag. Very nice. 13 to 9. Red team wins. I didn't get many points, but that's okay because we got more points than the other team, and that's that's what matters. <laughs> oh, they had a lot of zeros on their team. That's okay. I'm sure they won't be too upset. But anyway, let's go to GameCube Cookie Land and see what this is all about. I just want to eat the level. Let me eat it. Too early, yeah. I'm trying to time my my button presses with the audio, which is slightly delayed because of the way that I'm currently capturing this. So... But I get to play in real time, at least. Oh, who am I going against? Blue. Right, I'm red. Also, this level is a... This, this particular course is a little bit crazy with everything, basically. It's a very small area. Oh my goodness, Red Shell, why are you so overpowered? 
Red Shell just turns around. Oh my goodness. Anyway. Oh, how did that miss? Oh, Bowser, you are playing dirty right now. There's so many things everywhere because it's such a small area. Oh, Ink, yes. Team, crush them. Maybe. Okay, that didn't do anything. We're also getting smashed right now, so that's not good. If I can get my red shell to hit something, that'd be good. Because my red shell is overpowered. Oh, more red shell, good. Okay, we're bringing it back. We've almost caught up. It's currently tied. 9 to 9. Oh, nope, missed. Also, careful not to steal balloons from your allies, because I think you can do that. Oh, three. Three. No, oh, well, that didn't do as much as I would hoped. Oh, well. I should have kept onto that red shell. 14 to 14, still a minute left. We've still got time. We can also go through our own team explosions, which is good to know. There's a lot of those red blocks around that area there, so hopefully the other team will get hit by them a lot. I can tell he's going to do something to me in a second here. I need to be careful. Oh, yes, good. Who's in front of me? Dry Bowser. Take that! And take that! And take this! And, oh my goodness, just so strong. 20 to 17. Nice. Almost nice. 22 to 17. 23 to 17. 23 to 18. I'm gonna die. But we are gonna win at this rate. So that's good. Oh my goodness, I nearly... Oh, 23 to 20. It's getting close again. It's getting close again. Okay, good. Take that. Nope. Okay then. Another red shell. Go. Go do my bidding red shell. Please hit something. 27 to 17. 29 to 17. This is so good. That we've already won. I got 10 points. What? How? But anyway, we won. Again. I've been doing a lot better than I thought I could, which is good. Now, let me quickly check something when we're going back into the balloon battle. Uh, and that is going to the rules. Uh, let's go wins down to one. Oh my goodness. No, I can't go down to one. Okay, then. But yeah, we can actually set, set the rules as well. So we can set the CPU difficulty. We can set the vehicles to carts or bikes only, which I don't think you should. Uh, choose courses is good when you're playing by yourself. Probably random with other people is also probably better. Unless you really want to do um, Funky Stadium, which why wouldn't you? You can also change the items from recommended to frantic or basic as well. Frantic is probably a little bit in, in probably a little bit crazy, but the the wins is the the most interesting rule that you can change, probably, other than items, probably. And that's because you can set it to 10 wins, so you have to do every single track to see who gets the most points, basically. But anyway, let's head back to Bloom Battle as basic rules, I guess. And let's do the last course that we haven't done yet. DS Twilight House. I don't think I ever understood this one, playing this game when I was younger. I might be a little bit better at it now. So let's find out. And remember that we're on the red team. Oh my goodness, this is a little bit chaotic. Also this music. It sounds like Mario Kart DS and I like it. Ok, 
Okay, we're doing good. We just need to keep going around in circles. This is how you play battle mode. Okay, I need an actual power-up. Just I need to not be hit by something as well. Score's currently tied up, so we haven't done that much yet. Oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness gracious. Everything's a little bit crazy. It's a bit of a small map, but that's kind of alright, I think. Take that, Mario. I'm sorry, I needed that. Oh, red shells are really overpowered. They can just do a full, full 360 to get you. Oh, oh, that was good. Because it was aiming for me, I managed to get it somehow to hit one of the other teams. So, so one of the other teammates on the other team, which meant that um, it was safe for me because it got rid of it. They didn't take any... There, there was no penalty for them, but it meant that they didn't get me, so that's a penalty in itself, really. <laughs> got him. <laughs> it's just so powerful. Oh, bad. Okay. 12 to 9 currently. Let's see if we can do a little bit better. Just need a little bit more. 15 to 8, we're doing really well now. Oh, Toadette's trying to get me with her shell. Good thing their teammates blocked the shot for me. Oh, no, not going to get saved that time. 15, 14, 12, we're not doing good now. And I'm having to respawn. Under a minute left, 15 to 12. We've... Oh, it's, it's going to end badly for us if we don't quickly... Get points. How did that miss? Come on. Come on, game. There's also an outside path that you could be on, but you probably don't need to. The inside is good enough. 16 to 16. Oh, this is not good for us. 16, 17. Give me something good so I can save this. 17, 17. I have a red shell. 1719. This is really bad. 1818? Nope, that's a bad shot because I missed. Please, no. I just messed it up. Oh well, we weren't going to win anyway. Next time, indeed, Toad. Well, anyway, let's go to the next battle. I'd want to see if I can win this still. So let's go to the best level, obviously, to see if we can finish this up. It's probably going to end with me dying, but let's find out. Okay, here we go. And of course... No, I'm starting with an ally. Let's go. Don't need to worry about startup, because we just go straight away. This one's a... This one's just such a good one for battle mode. I hope it gets brought back in another Mario Kart at some point. Oh, don't hit that. I'm going a little bit crazy right now, and it's not really working out so far. There's also a little tunnel through the middle, which I think is cool. And that will be useful later, but not quite at the moment. How did I lose my red shell? Where did it even go? Like, I shot it, but then it didn't do anything. It didn't go anywhere. Please hit something with that. I'm just going to stick and stay in the middle for a bit and try to hit things. If I can just overwhelm them with power-ups, I might be able to do it. Oh, that was a terrible shot. <laughs> Come on. You have to kind of angle yourself just right to hit some of those blocks in the middle. Oh my goodness, how did that even happen? Okay, that was a bad angle. Let me just try circling out a little bit more before turning in. Okay. I might need to move out because there's not a lot happening in the middle. That's a red block. It's one of ours. 
Currently 6-4, to four, so we might be able to win this. It's still anyone's game. There's nobody over here. Why is it that they're just avoiding me? Seven to five and a minute remaining. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was close. I don't know if that was one of ours or somebody else's. Also, I think I might. If you I think if you shoot your shell. Um. Oh, bad, 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 bad. I think if you shoot your sh your shell while you're spinning in midair, you actually shoot it out in a random different direction. This side is not easy to get power from, is it? No mind. Just that one jump in the middle is not exactly the best for getting power-ups. Oh, go, 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 Fifteen to eight, and we won. But we also have to do another round because we lost the previous one. It's next battle, I guess. Which obviously, Funky Stadium is the best, so we should do it again. If you agree, um, tell me in the comments, I guess. Because obviously, Funky Stadium is the best battle mode level. Let's go! Don't bump me off. If you fall off of that, this ramp, you actually have to be brought back in by Lakitu. Okay. Bananas are good. I'm okay with bananas. Shells, ah, uh, could be better. Also, hopefully my teammates aren't getting rid of my bananas for me. Okay, where is everyone? The kind of, there's not really many blue people around here. So let me go now. Come on, Toadette. No, Toadette. Why are they so good at dodging? Why are they so good at dodging? Oh my goodness, that shell. He just did a loop-de-loop -de -loop into, the, into the tunnel. How does that even happen? I don't know. There are also little edges that you can be up on. But it's not really that important when you're playing against CPUs. Sometimes they'll go up there, but not, not often. Also love how this battle mode is just stay in the middle and just keep throwing stuff at them. Oh, we're not doing good. We have, it's three to six right now. I probably need to do something about that. Shouldn't I? Three to six. I need to really get going now. Okay, that's good. Good shot. Five to six. This could be good. Oh, I'm gonna do a little turn here. Let's see if I can hit somebody with this red shell. Nice. If I could get another red shell, that'd be absolutely amazing right now. Nope. Yeah, let me see if I can run into somebody with these shells. Nope. Okay, then. Well, at least I'm not getting hit by them. The, th the score hasn't moved that much at all at the moment. Still 6-6. Six to six. Please give me something good. Oh, 5-7. to seven. That's not good. Give me something. <laughs> give me something. Please. I don't know how that's gonna help. Five to eight. Oh no, and 15 seconds left to save it. Please, 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 team. Team, save it. Oh, we're dead. We lose. Unless I hit like three people right now. Oh my goodness. It's 
time for the walk of shame. You have to sit on the screen for a while, always it's not technically the proper- it's not the proper walk of shame unless you be silent on the screen for a little bit. But anyway, that was the balloon battle. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.